Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be watching this video. You are watching Sinstar Tech Talk with Giles Cleverly. Hello. And me, Samuel Paul. Now, many of you may have heard that Windows 7, or the support for Windows 7, is coming to an end in January 2020. So, a topic we wanted to tackle and look at was why is it important that if you are on a Windows 7 operating system, why do you need to upgrade um, to Windows 10, the latest system? So, Giles, Tell us a bit about the difference, firstly, between Windows 7 and Windows 10. Okay, well, first of all, if you are using Windows 7, as soon as mid-January 2010 comes around, your machine isn't going to suddenly stop. So don't, don't worry about that side of it. But it is important that essentially you do upgrade away from Windows 7. Um, the natural path is going to be that you upgrade to Windows 10. So, you know, it is important that first of all, that we do that. Um, there's lots of reasons why. So, why, why, why do you think, Sam? Well, I was going to ask, why Why are there, is there an upgrade? Because many people watching could be thinking, well, Windows 7 has always worked for me, so what's the point in the upgrade? Um, well, I mean, we're, we're kind of deviating across to what is Windows 10, but Windows 10, essentially, the platform itself is completely different because of the way, if, if any of you guys use Windows 10, then you'll notice that it much more talks about apps and things like that, which is obviously much more mobile based. So, um, But when it comes to moving away from Windows 7, the important thing is that you need to upgrade from Windows 7 purely for the security side of things. So yes, other newer systems are going to give you more features, but ultimately Windows 7 is going to become unsecure. So at the moment, essentially, all the, the game is, is you've got the nasty people out there that want to hack into your machine. And what then happens is, um, whether it's Microsoft or whether it's antivirus companies, they then look at the essentially the holes that these people have found and then patch them hence patches and updates that that's a kind of a broad reason for it um, and then obviously making improvements to it so what will happen is uh, i think it's 14th of january 2010 microsoft will just stop playing that cat and mouse game so over time windows um, 7 will become vulnerable because there's going to be no one looking for the holes and things like that that these people have made. So, um, so yeah, that's why it's really important that you move forward onto something like Windows 10. So just to encapsulate what we've discussed in, in today's episode is Windows 7 effectively will still be kind of working as of January 2020, but Microsoft's support for it won't be working, therefore making users using Windows 7 vulnerable. Absolutely. So by upgrading to Windows 10, you're a lot more secure, You've got the peace of mind that, of course, you know, you've got Microsoft behind you and, you know, IT providers supporting as well. Absolutely. And at the moment, it's a free upgrade in terms of the software path is free. Um, albeit, do be careful because um, often when you try and upgrade one software to another, um, issues can happen, you may lose data, etc. So it's always worthwhile. If you're not 100% um, certain about what you're doing, it's always worthwhile going to an external um, IT support company and just either asking them or ultimately getting them to do it and then they'll make sure that all of your data, software, etc. Is, is moved over. But do remember there are certain versions of software that won't work on Windows 10. So for example, if you're using Microsoft um, Office, so as in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, just check the version that you're using is supported by Windows 10 because you might find even though it's free to upgrade to Windows 10, you get a bill of a couple hundred quid for upgrading Office. Yeah. So do, do just double check that. So there we go. That's it for Tech Talk this week. Um, if you are on Windows 7 operating system, please, please, please look to upgrading as soon as possible. The sooner the better. Um, and don't do it alone if you don't know what you're doing. If you liked this episode, please like, comment and share this video. Um, we really would love to have your feedback. And if you've got any topics or any questions that we can discuss for future episodes, then please uh, comment away. Have a great week and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you.